Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is absolutely amazing. My name is Shinky, this is Shinky JRPGs, and it's time for a surprise video! Grand Blue Fantasy Relink's demo dropped today, and I need to talk about it. So today, January 12, 2024, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, after being announced back in 2016, finally has a demo playable for the masses. This is going to be a short and sweet video explaining my first thoughts and impressions on Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Before we get into this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if you've tried out the game yet, and what your thoughts on it were. Anyways, pop your corn, ice your drink, and get ready to hear some first impressions of the newest action RPG on the horizon. Okay, so let's start off with the one thing that got me interested to try this game. Outside of the demo title screen, which is incredibly bland, yes, I'm aware, that's a weird thing to judge, this game is beautiful. Never have I ever seen a game so gorgeous. The landscapes look wonderful, the fields are such a vibrant shade of green, and the maps are so large and inviting. The art style looks great, and I can't get enough of how detailed everything is. Now, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink offers two visual modes. You have the performance mode, which is 1080p and 60 frames per second. Or you have the graphics mode, which is 4K and 30 frames per second. While the game looks amazing in 4K, I just can't handle playing an action game at 30 FPS in 2024. The performance mode is much smoother, however, it doesn't look anywhere near as good for obvious reasons. But playing the game in performance mode, Grand Blue Relink is buttery smooth. Now this is on the PS5 version, I'm not sure how it plays on the PC. Gameplay wise, Grand Blue Relink is a standard action game for the most part. You have light attacks, heavy attacks, link attacks, which allow you to coordinate with a party member, a jump, a block, and a dodge. Grand Blue also uses the typical timed dodges, so that if you dodge just in time, you get a frame of invincibility. And Relink also has the super flashy ultimate attacks, known as skybound attacks. As you deal and receive damage, you build up a meter, and once it hits 100%, you can use your skybound attack. And if your party members have their skybound attack available as well, they can combo with yours, and depending on how many characters combo their attacks together, you'll get a final burst attack that does huge damage. Speaking of party members, Relink has an incredible amount of playable characters. The demo itself has 10 playable characters, and you can play as each and every one of them. Each character has their unique quirks and play incredibly different. For example, Grand can charge his heavy attack, where Siegfried gets a buff whenever you time his attacks perfectly instead of just mashing the square button. And Catalina can summon an avatar to power up her attacks once filling up a gauge. Having so many unique characters is nice, because a common issue I have with action games is if you only have the single playable character, the game starts to get stale once you unlock all the action abilities, and then you find those one or two combos that work, and then you just spam those combos until the credits roll. Having several playable characters means you can swap characters between missions and change up the gameplay experience. Grand Blue Relink also has a quest system, and this is where the multiplayer component comes in. Quests can be attempted solo, or you can have up to four players playing online. The demo offers three quests. One quest is several waves of enemies you fight off. Sort of like the Thousand Heartless battle in Kingdom Hearts 2. Great game, by the way. Anyways, the other two quests are boss fights. Boss fights are fun, but they do feel very spongy. Though, I feel playing it online with other people, it won't be as spongy because you won't be relying on shoddy AI. Not entirely sure if the quest system is an optional feature, but it seems like it could be a lot of fun if you get a group of friends together to play with. I am personally looking forward to getting a group of good friends together and knocking out a bunch of quests together. Anyways, this demo definitely confirmed my excitement for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Sci Games, you just guaranteed a day one purchase from this JRPG fan. Are you going to be picking up Grand Blue when it launches on February 1st, 2024? Let me know if you're picking it up and what character you're excited to play as. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you love JRPG content. After all, that's what we're all about here. Anyways, thank you for tuning in, glad to have you here, and as always, have a wonderful day.